<sighs> I started putting GS music in my videos now, like the background music in GS, and I really don't know how I feel about it, to be honest. It's just, I, I low-key hate the music, I'm not gonna lie, I low-key low hate it. Every time I log in, I just want to throw my phone because, or punch my monitor because it says, <laughs> I really hate, um... What's up, everybody? It's your boy Super Snake with another video today, and today we are going over the five freedom fighters. Now, as you guys know from the last video, I did go over the little updates coming with Doki, that banner that was coming from the two last videos. I announced the five freedom fighters uh, added to the side quest is here. Uh, that is talked about in upcoming upcoming maintenance that's coming up. This uh, what day is it coming? Like the ninth? Yeah, what day? Yeah, tomorrow the ninth. Today is the eighth. I'm recording this tomorrow the ninth. Freedom Fighters. Now to put a little bit more info around here, we're just gonna be going over the equipment and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, other than that, just get straight into the video. Hit that like button and subscribe. Like I said, eighty percent of you guys that watch my videos don't like the but don't hit the like button and are not subscribed. Hit that like button, subscribe. You literally come here all the time and you see my content. I literally post daily content and you do not want to miss out. You don't even have to turn on notifications. Just hit that subscribe button and hit the like button. I promise you, I'll be posting every single day. All right, there will always be content here, always. Anyway, let's get straight into the video. All right, if the background music or the grand summer music is too loud, just tell me. It shouldn't be, but, you know. <laughs> All right, anyway, um, so the equipment info, we're going right into it. The five freedom fighters, again, exclusive equipment. So, yeah, we're here. Some people, a lot of new players don't know much about equipment. I guess I can do, like, a little beginner's guide over uh, what you need to do with equipment. Or just a beginner's guide, period. I know a lot of people, um, been a lot of people... Uh, we do are still having new players come in. I guess since it's anniversary, it's the best time to play, right? So we still have a lot of players uh, still new and been asking me a lot of questions what to do. Uh, so I might make a little beginner's guide. I might not. I don't know. But you can leave it in the comments down below if you want a beginner's guide. But anyway, Divine Sword Bombing. What the heck is that? What What are these names? Okay, the CT has 25 seconds. Huh. Interesting. It's a physical 5-star attack equipment. Demon Killer level 2. It's the ability damage to damage. 20% up. I don't know why I said it like that. I'm sorry. Uh, the skill is 4.5k damage physical with 30% chance of paralyzing the enemy with an attack of 500 and a break of 1.2k. 30 chance of paralyzing the enemy. Some of you guys need that. <laughs> no, but no, for real. Um, having that 30 chance, uh, 30% chance of paralyzing the enemy is great. Uh, on paralyzing units, that's uh, really good to run. Um, the damage is 4.5k, which is actually not that bad. It's pretty decent. The break is 1.2k, uh, and it has a CT of 25 seconds, uh, so it's not that bad. Ooh, it's, it's not that bad, but CT 25 seconds. <sighs> you know how I feel about you know how I feel about the CT. Uh, okay, we got another five star physical curse sword Graham. It's a, with the attack 500, a break of 1,000. God killer level two is the ability damage to gods 20% up. The skill is 6,000 or 6k. Dark damage physical increases all allies charge rate critical or whatever you want to call it by 30% for six seconds. Uh, with a CT of 60 seconds. Now, one thing I do like about this clip is that it gives all CRA rate or increases all CRA rate for your allies. By 30% for six seconds. I do like that. Um, CT I solely don't like because it's 60 seconds, so basically a whole minute. Um, that or over a whole minute that you gotta wait for. Um, it's kind of you know, booty. But <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So we're going into Magic Mass. Get what? Is, what is Gil What? What is? What is these names? What they're just pulling stuff out their booty now. At this point, what are these names? I'm tired of it. Okay. We got an attack 500, god killer level 2, damage to the guys 20% up. Then we have a skill 5.5k, dark damage, magic 30% of chance of blinding the enemy. It is a 5 star magic equip with a break of 900 and CT at 40 seconds. Now, blinding enemy. Now, you know, I run uh, like a sort of uh, Ash, one of the main units that I run. He's um has the blind resistance and give it off line to the enemy and everything like that. This actually probably would be a bad equipment one if you don't have his uh true weapon. Uh, one thing is that uh, the break is nine hundred. Nah, um, so that's kind of it's kind of chicken strips, but it's 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 straight. It's fine. It's fine. 
Um, the CT is 40 seconds, which, is, which isn't that bad. The attack is 500. Um, you do more damage to gods. I don't know how I feel about that, but you do more damage to gods. Um, which is, I guess it's not that bad. It's, it, it's okay. Um, but overall, I think this is a decent equipped. It's actually not that bad. What it, what is happening? Why did, why did it go black? Okay, let me, let me just go back. Let me just go back. Okay. All right, now we're back. Now we're going down here to the last two. I hate when this freaking glitch. Like, look at this. Why is it glitching? Why? Why? What, is it not loading? Okay, it loaded. Okay, we we probably won't. <gasps> we did it! Okay, now we have another five star physical. Uh, excuse me, a five star magic. Uh, I'm sorry about that. A magical hat. What are these names, dude? What are these names? Attack 500, magic damage level two, magic damage 20% off, 6.5k, HP damage, magic increases the own art gauge by 30% when HP is 50% more, break of 800, attack 500, and CT of 50 seconds. Now, uh, one thing I gotta say is that it increases your own art gauge, okay, by 30 when own HP is 50% or more. I like that, but um, you know I don't like such a clip that uh, doesn't give off stuff to your team or other units. Um, I still think that this is a good equip just because um, it gives art gauge to you, which is not bad. You always want art gauge to you. So if you're running at the first slot of a five star magic, that's that's perfectly fine. You can uh, definitely run this. Uh, the break is 800 and the CT is 50 seconds. Uh, I guess the CT, the CT is okay, 50 seconds. Really pushing it. 60 seconds really pushing it too up there. Um, so uh yeah, going into magic sword seagull. I'm guessing that seagull this should be attack is 120. It's a four-star defense equip, uh physical resistance level two, physical damage from enemy 10% down, 3.8k dark damage physical physical, excuse me, reduces damage to all all allies by 20% for eight seconds with a break of 700 and a CT of 35 seconds. Now, the exchange will not be available if you already cleared the quest. The missions will not be reset. Play the quest from the uh, quest side or read the story from town. Shrine history event story. That's how you get to the story, and that's the information about the side quest. Uh, if you already completed, you, you know it won't reset. Blah blah blah, all that. But yes, they need, they need to reset. They need to reset something. Okay. Anyway, um, but my opinion about this four star defensive equip, it has a, it's a four star equip. I don't really see that four star magic defense, but overall it's fine. Um, other than that, I think uh, these equips are pretty decent. And uh, will you summon on them? Probably so. I wouldn't summon a banner, but the quip banner, if you don't have that many equips, I definitely summon for. So definitely do that. Uh, other than that, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, sub, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. I'm out.